What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mars Man here, and today we're talking about Pikmin 4. Ever since 2001, Pikmin has sprouted out of nowhere, basically stealing the hearts of millions of fans on the GameCube. With its oddball puzzle strategy gameplay and its unique art style being just so different compared to anything we've seen before, it just felt unique. With Pikmin 4 having its greatest launch in the series history, the question is, does Pikmin 4 actually match the hype or is it just smoke and mirrors? I give the good, the bad, and answer these questions in my final verdict. So let's start off with the good. Overall, the art style of Pikmin 4 is definitely the best aspect of the game. The vibrant colors on all levels are just straight up impressive and each section you travel to is a different experience. The levels tackle different environments and methods to circumvent challenges that present itself, giving the game a much needed variety that previous Pikmin games did struggle with. I think their overall level design is the most impressive. There are parks, yards, beaches, houses, each feeling like an entirely new ecosystem with so much to explore and look out for. Even the ability to travel to sections of the maps in night expeditions or caves definitely opens up the level design even more. The devs did a great job in creating so many different environments, giving the player the feeling they're traveling in so many unknown areas. The best part of exploration is the diverse environments you get to see and Pikmin 4 was fantastic. The gameplay of Pikmin 4 is very solid. It has the basic concepts of collecting Pikmin, investigating areas, finding crew members that are lost, everything basic you would expect in a Pikmin game. I gotta say though, they actually added more things for you to do in this next installment compared to any Pikmin game we have had previously. With finding more lost crew members, your side missions open up which gives you a lot more smaller challenges they give your exploration more purpose than before. You go hunt for treasure to upgrade your tech, train Ochi with skill points, go find new species of animals. All these smaller missions are used to buff your creative character and give you the ability to become better when completing your missions. I legit made my dude so overpowered when heading into missions that I was just completely destroying monsters left and right. But the point that you can just do so much more than the following the main mission, which is supposed to be finding Olimar, is actually impressive. Now, I think it's pretty funny that you're taking so long and basically avoiding trying to find the main character who is just straight up lost and the entire time you're just doing side missions but still it's it's honestly pretty fun i also feel the pick before did a great job in finding a good balance between easy for newcomers but also providing some challenge with the introduction of ochi you legit can do so much more in just the basic gameplay loop he has easily made the game so much easier for the player since he just does so much he has a method to travel he can attack he can find treasure and legit sniff out anything you need for your mission with ochi and the challenge of animals being limited it's it's very difficult to not do well in this game. I feel like for anyone new to Pikmin, this will feel like a very new and but very manageable experience. But for any veterans of the series, this might be extremely easy, so this can be seen as a good and a bad, honestly. It's good to have new fans easily join in the fun, but can be seen as a bad for veterans who actually want a challenge. And with the good, we have to talk about the bad. One of the worst things I really felt annoyed about when playing Pikmin 4 was the lack of a real co-op mode. I know technically they have a mode where you can throw pebbles at people and distract enemies, but come on. What makes it worse is that there was a full-fledged co-op split-screen mode in Pikmin 3 Deluxe that seemingly was completely forgotten in this installment. In the previous game, you can send your friend to explore an entirely new area and they can lead their own crew of Pikmin, but instead of building on that, Nintendo thought that it was best to just forego that entire concept and have a partner throw pebbles at people. Like, are you kidding? I've heard of weak ass concepts in games before, but this is the definition of a guru baby bullshit. Like we all know that Nintendo is going to force us to buy a Pikmin 4 Deluxe version for the Nintendo Switch Pro when it finally releases next fall in 2024 that will honestly probably have a co-op mode attached to it and it kind of just pisses me off that there is no doubt in my mind that they're going to pull that crap on us. Giving more people the chance to play this game will only make it better. It's really not that complicated. The start of this game is very slow. I think they intentionally made it slow to welcome new players to the game but honestly it was a drag to get into the cool maps or ideas that made the games better. I like the setup of you trying to find Olimar but honestly, just have the player jump right into the conflict. You don't have to hold their hands so much just for them to understand how the game works. You could have forgone the at least the first hour of the start of this game and just jump right into the juicy stuff, and fans would have just been okay with it. You don't have to hold their hands so hard that it feels like you're babying everybody along the way. I definitely enjoyed the gameplay and missions, but one major criticism is that this game has no sense of urgency. In previous Pikmin games, the added stress of having a limited amount of time 
to find crewmates or getting to your objective is not really present here. Oliver is lost and we need to find him. You could legit take 40 days in game time and explore all the intro maps and there would be no problem here. I feel like that loss of added tension causes some problems for me and others because it just feels like there's no shot that you can lose your main objective. I'm not expecting Pikmin to be like Elden Ring in difficulty and cause me to stress out to, that I could might lose all my materials, but it honestly feels like the materials are endless and legit find it impossible to run out. Sure, there were some instances where I had to fight a pretty not so easy boss, but I can legit leave, get more resources, come back with no sense of urgency at all, and then just clap the ball. It's not a major criticism, but definitely an issue I saw with the gameplay loop. Overall, I feel like Pikmin 4 had both positives and negatives. The art style and level design were honestly the best in the entire series, and it was very fun to explore the different levels to see what secrets they have. The gameplay is simple for any newcomer to just jump in and they added some new features to make veterans feel like this was an upgrade. The lack of a real co-op mode definitely got me pissed off, especially with the fact that they had one in the previous game. And to be honestly, this game could be too easy for most gamers. I'm giving Pikmin 4 an 8.7 out of 10. I honestly would not be against calling this one of the best Pikmin games in the series, and I had a lot of fun jumping back into the IP that had captured the hearts of so many. With the massive success that they've had so far, I would not be surprised that we get a somewhat expansion to the game or a deluxe edition in the future. I would highly recommend you jump into the game if you're a new fan or returning one because I feel like I can guarantee that you will enjoy the experience. Just be sure not to take too long to go look for Olimar. He's lost out there and he's going to need your help. But what do you think about Pikmin 4? What did you like? What did you dislike? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.